Hi everyone. Welcome. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. If you are um, returning, then thanks for coming back. We have for it. Um, if I am more all over the place than usual, it's because I just woke up, but I still feel like recording this video. So bear with me. <laughs> um, we have for it. For it is um for it's really awesome um so what should i say first uh looking at them you might be thinking wow these stats still suck look at look at those stats you know you, know, you, might, you might be thinking that to yourself and uh, that's totally understandable um they are kind of middling looking at them on paper but then you have to look at the abilities and the moves so um for it has amazing new tools to work with um as for the abilities simple and for code are both pretty self-explanatory in my opinion its name is literally Ferret, and it's pretty, you know, it's based on a fur ferret, and it has this, like, um, you know, this big fluffy fur, so... Fur coat makes a lot of sense, in my opinion. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, so that's that. That's the logic of fur coat, and that's an amazing ability. So with fur coat, Ferret has... So I've kept base 85 HP because they, they are 6 feet long, so I figured why not just keep the base 85 HP just because I wouldn't know where else to put the stats anyways. Um, and also it helps out with the bulk. Uh, 60 base defense is not great on paper, 70 base special defense is okay when you invest into it, it's pretty solid if you go with a you know, special defense investment. But the main benefit is that with fur coat, uh, say you're running a neutral nature for it with max defense investment. With fur coat, you have essentially 438 physical defense, which is roughly equal to base um, uh, 438, right? I'm tired, hold on. 150. You basically have base 150 defense. Also, I have to add these guys to the speed tier guide right now before I forget it. Um, so let's do that. Yeah, this fucking very walks along is so funny. Um, oh, shit. Come on. Sorry, y'all. Um, so that's awesome. And then I have to add Sentret as well. Uh, fun fact, Sentret had base 20 fucking speed. Sentret was slower than Snorlax for some reason. Why? Don't fucking ask me. Dude, this mon had like 200 and five or something based that total it was awful abysmal base it was such a it stats were so bad for no reason i know it evolves at 15 but come on like that's really bad um anyways what is this 95 boom <sighs> excuse me um i'll focus on one a little bit give me a second okay so that's done um <laughs> So, for it, yeah, um, Fur Coat, extremely, really, it, Fur Coat is so useful, um, especially with all of your utility moves that I'll get to in a little bit. Um, I will talk about those, but I just want to talk about the abilities first, so, so that's great with Fur Coat, alright? Um, and then your other ability is simple, and I think that's also pretty self-explanatory just given their design and their appearance and stuff. I think simple makes a lot of sense. Um, as for their speed stat, it says that they corner falls with speed and it's very nimble and stuff, so I think base 115 speed fits really nicely. <laughs> Um, and then as for the physical attack not being that high, I mean, it's still a fairy, like, it's not like it should really be hitting that hard. Um, and I actually wanted the special attack to be usable and good because of, uh, simple. It has access to, a, um, a lot of physical and special moves, and it has access to a lot of setup moves on both sides. So, um, I guess I could talk about simple options first. And then also, I want to quickly touch on the pre-evolution, so Sentret, again, it'll evolve at level 20, which is just in time for Hala, um, and then you'll have access to Simple early game, which you can use with Defense Curl and Workup, um, which are both great. So with Defense Curl, you'll get plus to Defense, with Workup, you'll get plus to Attack and Special Attack, so that's really powerful early game, nothing else has access to, like, set up moves like that early game, so Sentret is really unique in that sense. Um, so it's base 55 and 45 offense has become extremely good uh, with workup and then it's base 45 defense becomes extremely good with defense curl after just one use of the of the move um that's awesome and then of course you have other utility stuff and then you might be thinking well emergency exit just kind of sucks doesn't it this ability is shit. um also if you're curious on the logic for that they are a scout pokemon and they warn their kind of other of danger and they screech and blah blah blah, blah. like it, it's very obvious here that <laughs> Um, 
it's very obvious to me that like you know it, it, it had run away and that kind of just seems like emergency exit to me so like technically if i wanted to like give all the runaway mons emergency exit as like a pre-ability or something i won't do that but maybe as like a babies or something because um the ability is actually pretty good um especially early in so you might be thinking this ability is a cripple or a handicap sorry i shouldn't use that word uh, it's a handicap but it's actually not i guess handicap is also kind of offensive but cripple's like actually offensive so sorry um but yeah, um, Emergency Jigs is actually useful because you have access to utility moves, so what you can do early game, say you're fighting Totem Gumshoes, and you're fighting it, and you're level 15, and you have Tearful Look and Baby Doll Eyes on Play Nice, you click your Fake Out for a little bit of chip damage, you click your Tearful Look for the minus one attack and special attack for the Baby Doll Eyes. Uh, uh, excuse me. Or the Baby Doll Eyes for the minus one attack, you get all that off, and then boom. Um... They hit you, and then you click it again, they're minus two attack, it's just like, boom, they hit you again. Now you're under half HP, you get emergency exited out. So that's actually genuinely useful because you can be forced out. Um, so it's a, it's basically like a pivot. Um, it's nice to have it as like a pivot because you can use it to debuff mons, and then you'll get switched out. So you can also use this against Hollow, for example. So versus Hollow, you could click baby doll eyes, you can survive that fighting move on low HP, and then they'll emergency exit you right out. Um, so yeah, obviously you might be thinking, well, simple defense curl and workup is better. Yeah, it's better on paper, but in a lot of situations, you actually will enjoy and appreciate the uh, utility of emergency exit. And uh, I, think, I think it's cool for flavor. And of course, you have infinite ability capsules from the beginning of the game, so you can just switch between the two as you need. Same goes for fur and simple and fur coat. So now I can actually touch on the uh, fur options. So. Excuse me, early game, of course, you still have Defense Curl and Work Up, and then you get access to um, Agility and Home Claws. Agility not being super impressive with um, Simple, you don't really need that. Although you can use Agility Simple with Baton Pass, but that's a little bit later, I'm getting ahead of myself. So early game, you have not too much, but you still have good stuff. Um, you have Power Up Punch and Charge Beam, both of which will give you plus two attack and special attack with Simple. So that's great. Um, and but base 80 and 70 offenses at plus two are very, very powerful. And it can get to plus two really easily just by clicking one move. I mean, just by punching them a little bit, you get plus two attack. Just by shooting a little weak little 50 base power beam, 50 base, both of these are 50 base power, 100% accurate. And they always boost the stat now. So <laughs> consistent and nice to have. Um, so that's awesome. Tons of great coverage. I don't need to even waste time talking about all the coverage moves they get. They get coverage moves for almost every type. Um, you have like elemental coverage, you have uh, gunk shot, play rough, wow, uh, actually wild charge is elemental, uh, takedown, bolt switch, bolt switch is elemental, uh, power up punch, reversal, dig, dirty swipes, knock off, sucker punch, a lot of good stuff, pa power whip, like that's elemental as well, but you guys get the idea, it has lots of coverage, uh, lunge, like acrobatics, surf, and well flame thrower, ice beam, thunderbolt, blah, 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 fire punch, ice punch, you guys see it all here, I don't have to list it all out. Um, it's very it's very useful that way uh, you know you can hit a lot of things super effectively um so it makes your after having a boost it also makes your offenses much better um, and it's very customizable so you can really just switch like you can just keep that normal stab option keep that setup option keep the utility option and then you can run coverage or whatever else you need to run one more utility <sighs> um you should be changing between your abilities pretty frequently so so your abilities and your move sets and your EV spreads and stuff, those are all uh, infinitely customizable um, for cheap, for, for essentially free. So, you know, the experienced players will make use of that and take advantage of it. Um, what else is there? So, yeah, simple early game. You have home claws, which gives you plus four accuracy, plus two attack with simple um, power up punch, charge beam. Um, Water Pulse, technically, you could use because if there's a 50% chance that you get plus two to all your stats, it's kind of risky, but it's, it's definitely usable. Um, and then, of course, you have Work Up, and uh, you can also use like Indoor plus like Lychee Berry sets or something like that to get um, boosts that way. So you could use like Indoor Lychee Berry Work Up sets to just sweep really easily. Um, and the beautiful thing about Furry is that, so the really good thing about Furry is that uh, I've nerfed setup moves for the most part to have lower pp not nerf but i balance them to be lower pp so you can't easily just get the plus six um, for example swords into nasty plot which for it has are uh plus are only one pp calm mind and bulk up and like coil and whatnot are all only three pp 
uh, and so forth. Um, so typically you won't be able to get a plus six, but with plus six and calm mind and simple, you will be able to get the plus six calm minds. With nasty pot and swords, you can get plus four attack or special attack in one single turn. So with 115 base speed and 80, 70 offenses at plus four attack and plus four special attack, you are extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Simple is great. Um, obviously it still takes that turn of setup and you're not the bulkiest Pokemon on the planet, but it's still really nice to have, even if you run no investment. So say, for example, you're running like max Fidef, max speed, or max HP, max speed to take a hit. Um, and you still want that simple boost. So let's say you're running 70, let's say you're running special attack sets with zero investment in a neutral nature. At plus four, you're still at 528. So you guys get, like, you put that in perspective, it's very, very powerful. Um, and at 80, with the physical attack, you're at 588. And that's with zero investment. Obviously, if you invest, you're, look at this here. If you invest, you're 777 attack. It's very, very powerful. Um, so that's awesome to have access to. Um, so that's really cool. Um, for it, is very similar to Delcaddy um, in terms of move pool and stats. Uh, the difference being that one is pure normal and the other one is fire on normal fairy, but Delcaddy will, I'm pretty sure, will have the same abilities um, just because Delcaddy was garbage. Um, and it's nice to be able to actually like make use of it. Same with Ferret, honestly. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, and you might think, oh, well, Delcaddy is just better, but you know, fairy typing isn't always a good thing. And also, they do have different options. For example, Coil. Delcaddy doesn't have bulk up or Coil. Um, so it can't boost its physical defense like for it can. Um, it doesn't have extreme speed like uh, for it does. It doesn't have belly drum like for it does. Um, but then you know, they'll kind of have some other options like a uh, dazzling gleam and moonblast and that kind of thing. And, you know, other other interesting unique things. So they aren't total carbon copies of one another. Um, so that's awesome. Again, Swords Dance Nasty Plot TMs are relatively later on. They are um, right after Total Mimikyu, I believe. So mm, they might be before Total Mimikyu actually. Yeah, they're right before Total Mimic. You may actually triple check the order. Um, if you guys are curious, there is a TMN tutor guide. But uh, this tells you exactly where you get the moves and how strong they are and all that stuff. Um, of course, there's also a move guide where you can just check every move if you want to do that. It has every single move in the hack here. Um, and a lot of them are changed. The vast majority of moves are changed. There's like five moves that are not if you're new here. Um, so, what was I saying? Um, not too much sense. Okay, yeah, that is before Mimic you. Yeah, you get this. One on the rotor route before Mimikyu, and you get this from that uh, Skull Grant Not trailer. So you will have access to both of those beforehand. Um, that's really strong. Um, and then some of your last options with um, Simple are uh, Amnesia, which gives you plus four special defense. So you can use that in conjunction with Coil. Um, and Coil will give you plus two attack, plus two defense, and plus two accuracy. Accuracy is not that big a deal, but accuracy is nice for, um, number one, it's good for baton pass. So for example, if you want to coil baton pass into like a hustle Pokemon, that's really, really powerful. Um, of course, you can also abuse the boosts yourself um, with your good speed stat. Um, and at plus two defense, you're really tanky. At plus, one att plus two attack, I already showed how powerful you are. Um, well, actually, at plus two attack, you're not as powerful as, as that, but, but you're still very strong. Max investment, you're at 518. With zero investment, you're still hitting a, a respectable number. 392 is still a respectable attack stat. But that's with zero investment, of course. So if you invest, you're going to be much stronger. Um, and that's with a neutral nature. If you have a plus attack nature, a plus special attack nature, you're going up even higher. Say, for example, you're running a. Um, and you have an adamant one. This is hypothetical with 80 base attack. You're at 568. You guys get the idea. It gets really powerful. Um, and that's at plus two. Plus four, you're you're at well, after a Swords Dance, you're at 852. You are you are taking lives. Um, for it is awesome. Um, otherwise, you have Coil and Calm Mind. Coil for physical, Calm Mind for special, and you can always baton pass these boosts away. The only um, quote unquote nerf I did the baton pass is that it's negative priority. So that's really cool for like being a teleport equivalent. You know, to being like a pivot move. Uh, you know, like for example, fur coat fur it can actually abuse baton pass just as a pivot because it's so bulky. You can use that just to switch into another Pokemon. Um, and also, of course, fur coat fur it can still abuse this setup really nicely. For example, fur coat fur it really appreciates calm mind, um, and it also just can use setup moves far easier because of how bulky it is. So. It's not like setup is only good on simple, it's just that setup is typically better on simple sets for obvious reasons. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, you have access to baton pass, which is negative priority again, but um, as I was saying, that is more of a balancing choice because speed pass is kind of overpowered, so you do have to take two turns, to uh, two hits to be able to speed pass. Um, for example, agility. Um, in this case, we give you plus four speed. Um, so. 
Excuse me. Um, I think that's pretty fair. Um, again, given how powerful Baton Pass is. Um, and then you have access to extreme feed, so like Swords Dance or Coil plus E Speed. You don't even need to run a speed investment. At that point, you can run max HP and max attack and just click E Speed, you know? It's really, really good, guys. Like, it's awesome. Um, really, really fun to use. Um, I think that's about it for boosting. Uh, then you have Battle Drum and Assist. Uh, so Z Assist gives you plus one to all of your stats. Um, and it still picks an opponent's, uh, sorry, an ally's move, and it turns into a Z move. So say, for example, you use Z Assist, you get the Omni Boost, you get plus one to all your stats, and then you um, you uh, summon a different move from another uh, teammate. Um, that will become a Z move. Say you, say you summon, I don't know, you're, you're, you have a teammate as a Feral Gator, and you summon Surging Strikes, whatever. It becomes um, a really powerful... Um, uh, what's the word? Hydro Vortex. Um, so that's awesome. And of course, you still get the plus one attack and special attack and speed and special defense and defense. Um, the only downside being, I actually found this out recently, uh, those moves are not affected by simple. Uh, Z moves do not are not boosted by simple, which is kind of lame, but it is what it is. Um, it's still a nice option to have, especially on fur coat sets. Fur coat with assist is very, very powerful. Um, and otherwise, you have belly drum, which obviously does not work with simple because you can't get plus 12 attack. Um, but simple with, um, sorry, fur coat with uh, belly drum and uh, and or baton pass is very nice because of how bulky you are with fur coat. It's really nice to be able to take advantage of your uh, your bulk that way and get that um, belly drum. Belly drum plus E speed, something that Lanoon also has access to, um, but it's also great here. So, really, really awesome there. Probably other mods will have access to that as well. Um, and a lot of mods have access to this belly drum plus regular priority and a quick attack swift sucker punch <laughs> excuse me um special sets obviously you only have swift echoed voice and hyper voice for stab but then you also have giga impact and hyper beam and also another downside uh, sorry, a downside of swift um simple rather is that yes it's extremely powerful but you are gonna have to keep in mind that you also get minus two stat drops so for example intimidate gives you minus two attack um if the opponent uses charm on you, it's minus four special, minus four attack. If they use befriend on you, it's minus four special attack, etc., etc. So you, have, you do have to keep that in mind, um, especially in the mid game when a lot of mons have debuffing moves. They, a lot of mons will learn Leer and scary base and that kind of thing. Um, you're gonna want to keep that in mind with simple. Fur coat is also really great, so it's always nice to be able to switch between those two abilities as needed. Um, we have reliable recovery with slack off, which is great for setup with simple, and that's great for um, it's amazing for for coat. And again, with setup, you can use coil plus slack off and just get your healing off and then just get the plus six defense. It's so easy to get the plus six with fur it because of how fast it is. After one coil, you're taking so many hits. So say for example, whatever's in front of you, you're faster than it because they have taunt, but you're faster. So you click that really fast amnesia, for example. Um, they have special moves, so they 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 do zero damage now because you're plus four special defense. Then you can get another amnesia off because amnesia has two PP. So you can get plus six of that. Then you can click slack off, I'm assuming. Then you can click coil three times, get plus six attack, plus six defense, and then you're sweeping. It's so easy to sweep with for it, all right? It's, it's, sweeping is difficult in general, especially because of the PP nerfs and the speed and the taunt and all that stuff, but for it can do it a lot more reliably. Of course, it's not it's not always gonna work out. There'll be a lot of battles where there's shit that'll just kill you. First impression, for example, always crits, um, and that bypasses right through your simple boost, and that'll fucking shit on a fur it. Um, with that fur coat, it'll definitely kill a fur it from anything that's pretty strong. Um, for example, a Dragonite or a I don't know. Some, something that has AI Ruthless. Like, okay, Kabutops is definitely one shotting for it with uh, First Impression, for example. Uh, I would be very surprised if it doesn't. Um, if you're running max defensive investment, maybe you could survive it, but at that point, you're getting rid of your speed and or your bulk with HP and or your uh, offensive. But of course, more power to you if you did that, then good job. Um, I think that's about it. Not too much to cover. Like I said, tons of great coverage moves. Um, double edge is there just as a nice strong stab whiplash is very nice stab um, you have a lot of great utility as well i'll cover that and then i'll be done um so cheerful look is minus one to both offenses play nice and baby doll eyes are minus one attack and special attack um sorry special attack and attack respectively and those are priority so those, that's why that those are better than cheerful look in some cases especially on slower pokemon but obviously you're pretty quick so you might want cheerful look um and then you have access to, um, again, Slack Off. Fake Tears is nice for some totems uh, to get that minus two speed F. Um, Hoodwink is nice just for flinch hacks and stuff. Um, before you get play rough, it's nice for coverage. Tickle is great. Um, it's nice on fur coat sets with Slack Off. You can just tickle them a bunch and get their stats scraps minus one attack, minus one defense. Uh, Charm and Befriend are minus two attack and special attack, respectively. Flail Reversal are nice with the simple Endure set, so you can use like simple. Endure Light Tree Berry with Flail and Reversal and get plus two attack and then have a 200 base power stab move and a 200 base power fighting move. And that's really great. Um, so that's awesome to have. 
Whiplash is there, Whiplash is nice. Um, again, Baton Pass is great with a lot of things. So yeah, Ferret is super, super useful now. Ferret is easily good until the end of the hack. You're definitely not like putting yourself in a bad spot by using Ferret until the end of the game. Uh, it has tons of stuff it can do for your team. Really, really fun mod to use, really versatile, really, really useful, really strong. And yeah, uh, thanks for listening to this one. And I'll be uh, moving on to Radicate after this. I'll be recording videos for them. Um, so yeah, thanks. <laughs>